So let's take our first look at the lineups for tonight's match, and we'll start at running at Cristiano there. So listen, if you can defend him, you can defend anyone. Yeah, one quick word. They're, they're all winning, but they're unbeaten in four at home in the league. Salvaged a 2-2 draw in the reverse fixture to give themselves quite what they wanted. Yeah, they didn't think El Halal was going to do how good they've done, to be fair, because they probably thought with the players that were month. About maybe in the bottom three, but they have shown signs of improvement lately under their new sir. I'm Rick Laporte returns. Cristiano Ronaldo is the league's top scorer with 26. Kovac, so much experience for Abba there in the heart of their midfield, and uh, he's been in the league for a little while. And there could be a chance for Garib here, and Tatarashanu makes the save, and then he's bailed out. Took the sting out of the shot anyway. Yeah, it's a good save. Garib, it's a good. I don't think the ball's in. It was Tisson who got his inviting for Al Nasser. Well, it's. They're all, everybody's appealing for something there. Um, well, you know, VAR are going to have a look at this. Well, three players, I think there are three players on the deck in yeah, the Yeah, there is, so you don't know which one they're going to be looking at. <laughs> but they will be looking. went down first. Yeah, exactly. And why? Falls at the feet of Ronaldo, that could spell trouble. It's good defending. I thought he was going to hit it for the first time, but he tries to chop back onto his right foot, but really good defending. Sharp. Interesting. Uh, Ronaldo challenging for it. It's a great ball. Headed down by Fahd al Jamaya. Well, challenge right on the edge of the box there by Mohamed Naji. I don't know what Naji's doing. I don't know why he's taking a touch in that area. He, he thinks he's got more time than he thinks. It's great pressure and, and he get the free kick, but it's in a dangerous position. It's Ronaldo down. We know what the answer is. It's Ronaldo blasts it home. Told you. And fires Al Nasser into the lead. And it's taken only 11 minutes. It had to be power, and that's exactly what it was. Unstoppable. Yeah, it was. I don't know. I, I was watching the replay. I think the goalkeeper might be a bit disappointed that he's not. It's gone in the middle of the goal. There was a lot of power on it, but I think beating from there where you know it's coming through bodies, nah, I think he can do better, the goalkeeper. I think he's poor goalkeeping, but credit Cristiano Ronaldo. He's here, but there he can see it. I don't know why goal. Now they might have a go here. He's always looking at this is how he, this is why he scored so many. Raman Karib had a little look around him trying to pick out Ronaldo, who was attempting to return the favour, and it will be a free kick. Tisserong not entirely in agreement with that, as you can see. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think Tisserong got tired. I think Ronaldo fires it in oh. for number two. <laughs> two free kicks in the opening 20 minutes of the game. It's outrageous that one. I I can see the, he's not happy with the wall, and I'm not sure if the wall maybe doesn't jump, but there's no blame on the goalkeeper that time. It's a fantastic free kick from Cristiano Ronaldo. He saw he had that tunnel vision where he knows where it was going, and it's a fantastic free kick. We have to see the replay. Can the wall do better? But I'm going to give full credit to Cristiano Ronaldo. I think the wall, I think it goes through the wall. Yeah, it goes through the wall again. Goes between Krakowiak and Tisseron. Look Tisseron, at that. Tisseron, it can't do that. And you have to stay together, be strong, and take one in the head. So as much as it's a good free kick, it's poor. Pedaling rapidly here as Otavio feeds it to Al Naji. Here's Garib. Spina, he's been a spectator so far. Is that about to change? Well, not quite, but the touch from Kamano, Al Jamaya back in across, and the header beaten down. Alex Tellez with his corner. Yeah, sent forward by Alex Tellez, just about it went to the wire against Wales. Here's Abdul Rahman Garib. Another one from Tellez, and to the gloves through. Ronaldo forced a little wider than he would have liked. Oh, it was on a plate for Sadio Mane. Yeah, and, and you know, Ronaldo. 
Ronaldo, I think he, want, he does want to get his shot away. He's desperate to get his shot away, but the ball just skids on. And once it runs across him, Ronaldo plays it into a dangerous area. And luckily, luckily ricocheted and it comes to Mane and he's never going to miss there. Five yards out, open goal. Game over. I can say that now. I think it will be game over. Every time they go forward on Nasser, they look like they're going to score. But you can't give Mane a chance like that, can no, you? He's not, not. going to miss. Look at the space he's in there. And it was just poked to him by the finger. More than enough of Al Nasser this season. Krikowiak into the middle, just wide. Jemai was up there in support. That's the best we've seen from Abba in this first half. Yeah, and it's from their main man, Kukou, very much. They're, they're in the bottom three, but it's uh, they're, they're far from out of it. It's, it's pretty tight in the lower region. Spinner kept his eye on that. Gary jabbing it forward. Ronaldo, this could spell trouble. Oh, it's delightful. It's absolutely magnificent. Ronaldo at his best. A hat-trick in the first half. Two hat-tricks in the space of a few days. His third of this season. 4-0 Al Nasser and we haven't got to half-time. No, it could get out of hand. They will be checking it, but it does look like it takes a deflection and goes into his part. Once he gets into that position, it's a fantastic finish from Ronaldo. Other, maybe other players might have tried to square it to Sadio Mane. He's on side He's on there, side, look. yeah. He needs to go to half-time. Could get a little bit worse for a bar here. It's Ronaldo! And then it's put in. 5 0. Al Sulaim. Al Sulaim gets the goal. But you know what? I'm going for Ronaldo's going for goal there. It's a great little ball from Sadio Mane. And I think Ronaldo's thinking, I need to go for goal here. But he's saying, I'll have an assist. And he puts it on the plate. A hat trick and two assists for Cristiano Ronaldo. It's brilliant from Al Nasser. If they really wanted to, they could go sevens, eights, and nines. If the player's coming on. Uh... But we'll keep bringing that news in just a moment and confirm it is safely in the... Played in by Al Kunaidari and still uh, Garib. He's going for goal. Tatarashanu's save didn't quite fall for Alaliwa, the substitute. Could easily have done, though. Yeah, good save from Tatarashanu. But Garib again on that left hand side. Venturing forward now, Otavio sliding it through. Garib in the ball. It's number six. What a finish that was from Abdul Rahman Garib. He's impressed me. He's been outstanding, Garib. Every time I've seen him play, he's been a threat on that left hand side. It's all about Otavia, though. He does ever so well. Wins the ball back. And can he pick the right pass? Of course, he can pick the right pass. And when Garib gets into this position, and he is on side. It's a fantastic finish. This is what he should have done in the first half. But what a finish that is. Right into the far corner. Brilliant, brilliant finish. Well, they've picked up where they left off at the start of this second half. No, they have. Otavio, listen, you can't take off all the top players, but he stayed on the pitch and Garib on the left-hand side. What a... These are the ones who've got to stand out for you. Titch floating in him. Back across, cleared away by Tisseron, only as far as Otavio to the far post, and it's off. Good and good running by Inouaf al who rolls it in. Tisseron, great chance, it's number seven. It was a glorious opportunity for Abdulaziz Alaliwa. Yeah, it's a good goal from Aliwa. I told you about the players coming on, and he looks like a young player who's just come on at Aliwa, and it, you make an impact. But as I say, every time Al Nasser go forward, they look like they're going to score. A bar a shot to confidence, shot to pieces at the moment, and it's a brilliant little ball into the box. And once it comes to him, can he finish? And he can, Aliwa. And thoroughly deserve um, seventh goal for Al Nasser. Unexpected possession and opportunity. For number eight, which is taken. And it is Aliwa again. You just love it when you just praise a player and then he goes and puts the ball in the back of the net. And I said he's been lively. A bar again playing out from the back, not good enough to play out from the back, and they get punished. Aliwa, who's come on and made a big difference, just takes a touch and drills it into that far corner. But know what I'm seeing here. It's basic controlling of the football and then reaction's not good enough. Half-hearted. I know he slips over to go and win it back, but the finish is fantastic.